So you probably heard the trick, you probably heard the trap, you all know when teachers say, well, basically, well, that means there's at least something else, and you go, oh, God, what are we in for? Well, first of all, when I say basically every school night, this is your only homework, well, there's good news in there. It means the night before a test, there are no pages to read. It's just going to say study. You'll have read everything you're supposed to have read the day before the test. I'm not going to give you the final pages of the chapter the night before the test, because then what if any questions came up? We never got to answer them, and maybe the stuff's going to be on the test. So we'll have always read through the stuff we need for the test by the night before, so that the night before, all you have to do is study. That's the good news. Now, the bad news is, well, it's not just studying you're going to do. There's a couple tiny other things that go with it. Every unit, we don't call them units in APUSH. We call them periods. There are nine periods of time in APUSH. Every period, you're going to get a packet like this one that's going to have what we call the IDs, the identification items, IDs for short. They're just the names, places, facts, figures, expressions of history that the College Board says you need to know these specific things. So I'll give you this packet with the whole list, and then all of these are blank. And you're going to be filling those in not right before a test, at least not if you're doing it right. I suppose there's no way I can stop you from doing it right before a test, because these aren't due until test day. The idea is that every school night, when you read some of Fraser, you're going to have this packet off to the side. And when you come across a name like Jane Adams, and you go, oh, now I know who that lady is. Well, then you'll fill in what are the things that you need to know about her. So hopefully, this packet will be filled in like over the course of the two, two and a half, three weeks that we have to do the unit. So it's not really additional homework because you're doing it as we go along. But the week of any test, I'm going to give you a blank sheet of green paper that's going to have a list of all the IDs on the back of it. And then you're going to do one of these. We call it a mind map. And if you look nice and close, you're basically going to make a diagram out of the IDs where you're going to actually show the connections between them. You might be saying, OK, so then, Mr. Rooney, you're actually giving us extra homework the night before a test. I don't see it that way. I think I'm helping you study. By making you do this, that's a way, it's a great way for you to be able to put ideas together. And while you're doing that, you're studying. So at the beginning of the week of any test, I'll give you this paper. If you save it for the night before the test, well, then you chose that. I think I'm just helping you study. But this is the end. This is it. This is all you ever get for homework in APUSH. Maybe you say to yourself, well, what about like the worksheets? Nope, we're going to do those in class. Those won't be homework. What about all the documents that are so important for all this stuff? Yeah, we're going to do those in class. Well, you're going to make us write stuff. Yes, I am. In class, it's not going to be your homework. Your A-push homework is this book. And if you go, that sounds boring, I don't think I like that, then maybe you need to rethink whether you're going to go to college. Because when you get to college, you basically do two things. You read books and take notes on them. And you listen to professors and you take notes on them. That's what you do. This class is supposed to be college-level work that gets you ready for college, and this is what they do in college.